Hello everyone, I quickly wanted to showcase an IQ solver script that I created. It's the most simplest IQ setup that we can have. It only has one script which is available on GitHub, the link of which is in the description. So here I have a chain of three bones, top, mid and leaf bone, each of which is 10 units of world space in length. I have a target game object to which the chain would try to follow. We have to add the IQ solver script to this target object. Once we add it, we have to give it the chain that it should include while calculating positions. We have to assign the bones in specific order that is from leaf to root. That means first bone should be the leaf bone and then the last one would be the root bone. Also make sure that your bones don't have child parent relations. Just separate them if they do have it so they should look just as in this scene. So let's set chain length to 3 so we get 3 slots for the bones. Let's assign leaf, mid and top bone respectively and set length of each bone which in this case is 10. Make sure your lengths are correct and are calculated in world space when you set them for your chain. Pole target is a game object towards which our chain will tend to bend when it has to reach a target which is closer to it than its total length. Let's assign our pole game object here and set iterations to 10. Now 10 works great in this case. I could even go lower as this is a simple and small chain. But you should set it to a value as low as possible while successfully following the target. Just do it by manual trial and error or just set it to a moderate value like 50 or 100 if you don't worry too much about efficiency. Now the script directly works in play mode but if you have to test the setup in scene view just check the enable checkbox in edit mode section. Now if you move the target object we can see the IK working. It will follow the target while it is still able to reach it or just become straight pointing towards it if it is out of reach. It works correctly in 3D and the bent of the chain is pointing towards the pole game object. If we move the pole object, the chain won't directly change, but it will take into account new pole position when we move our target object. As you can see, the chain is now pointing towards the new pole position. So that's it for this plugin. Subscribe and hit the like button if you like it so I can share more and more free plugins and also check out other stuff that I shared on GitHub. Hope you get what you were looking for and thank you for watching.